Emma here for Camper Trailer Australia magazine. We're camped by the King River in the beautiful Victorian high country and I'm standing here with Nick Edwards from Mountain Trail Campers. Nick, this is pretty much your local stomping ground, isn't it? It is. We've been coming here for years, Emma. We're standing in front of your brand new Escalade soft floor camper trailer. Can you tell me what's different about this one? Sure, Emma, sure. So we, we've been working on the hard floor camper trailer for about 18 months. It was a, it was a huge engineering project completely new and we took all the engineering, the DNA that we learned from the hard floor and placed it in this soft floor. So this soft floor is really a purpose-built soft floor. It's constructed of 180 separate laser cut panels. The advantages of that are that if you damage any panel, it can be replaced by a panel beater Australia wide. Yeah, fantastic. So it's a brand new camper and a brand new kitchen. Can you tell me about it? Sure, Emma. So the kitchen now is all 100% stainless steel. So we've got here uh, a large drawer that slides out and it is on the soft close as well so you can see that just closes in yeah, right. we have the, um, the fold down area under the sink which is cabinet hinges and they're soft close also uh, compartment over here with a cupboard and two shelves soft close three burner stove sink um, comes standard with cold water on, on tap so it's not a pump tap and we've also leveled out this bench which folds over the top so full stainless kitchen rust free easy to use and Obviously it looks beautiful. Now we're up in the high country for a few days, Nick, so we've got plenty of supplies. Can you tell me about what's keeping them all cool in here? Sure. This is our fridge and pantry slide. This is a travel lock. You lift this up, sit it on there, so now we're ready for use. Quite easy to slide out. Fridge and pantry. Great. This is the Waco 80 litre CF80, which is standard as well. Mm -hmm. As you can see, you can fit a lot in here. Yep. And on the back, we've got our stainless steel pantry with the dividing wall in there. It has a, a flip up algo bench, so all the kitchen, everything's all in one spot, all the food, plenty of bench space. And it's protected by this kitchen return. This model comes standard with stainless steel kitchen, the fridge, the pantry, slow, the tailgate tailgate bench, the annex roof, and these two return walls, which are, are great for a, a bit of privacy, wind block as well. Yep, absolutely. And I helped you set this up yesterday, and I think it took us, with, even with the annex walls, it took us about 10 minutes. 10 minutes for the whole camper. It's pretty good for a soft floor. It's really good. Yep. Cool. Nick, let's take a look on the inside, right shall we? Yeah, sure. Yeah. This is our standard size tent, which is what we call a 2.4 meter, which is a standard size we recommend for a couple or a couple with up to two children. Mm -hmm. And you can order a bigger with a three meter tent as well. So this is made of SHS, which is a square hollow section steel and galvanized. We make it and bend it in our factory. And we've designed it on these gas trucks. So this is fixed in position, fixed in position, and fixed in position again, which makes it really simple to set up. And now there's plenty of storage on the inside here, Nick. Uh, three storage compartments here, um, internally accessible. Correct, Emma. So these are these are really good for clothing, bags, whatever you, you want to put in here. We also use this as well, like you have for uh, toiletries. Yep, perfect. Um, and all marine carpeted and lit. And I like this upper shelf too. That makes that space much more usable. It does. It's just one compartment. But I don't really know what to call this other than a stairway to heaven. There's a heavenly amount of storage under the bed here. That's right. In these four big storage drawers. And they're lockable too, Emma. They're still drawers with stainless steel faces on them. So if you go out for the day, you can just push that in and lock it. Lock photo, you know, Excellent. camera so gear. Excellent. So lock on every drawer and all key to like. Correct. And yeah. there's a light here too, so yeah. I can see what I've got going on. And up here we've got a queen size inner spring mattress. Yes. I slept on it last night. Very comfortable. Thank you. Good mattress. Yep, and um, plenty of, I mean, it's really, it's a bright, airy tent, plenty of ventilation. So it was nice and cool. Yeah. And just behind here, I've got my laptop charging on the projector 12 volt inverter. That's yeah. right. 300 watt pure sine wave inverter is standard. And underneath that, there's also a double power point. So if you do have access to mains power, you plug a power point in the side of the camper, mm -hmm. it starts charging the house batteries, yep. and that double power point becomes a light. So the front end is actually designed as a stone protection to flick stones out, so it is a stone guard. But what we've done is we've incorporated it into a lockable vented storage area, which we think is essential. You, you do need a, an area like this where you can throw in the mesh floor, the firewood, and just hose it out when you get back. There's Absolutely. A, there's a light in here as well. Yep. Behind there, we have a luggage rack. We've actually had them where we have a bike, a rhino bike carrier up here, so you can carry a couple of bikes. All right, Nick, we're over on the driver's side here, and again, heaps of storage. We wanted to utilise every possible space we could, Emma. So up here we've got pole storage. That goes right through the other side. You want to put your fishing rods in there? Yeah, fishing rods, poles, that kind of yep. thing. Then up on this side, Emma, we've got the, what we call the electrical compartment. Now, you can see here we have uh, 
we have these switches. This is the fridge switch here, so if I'm going out for the day, I can see I've, I've left the fridge running, so there's going to be no power used anywhere else. When I get back, I can turn the cabin lights on, which is this one here, and then we can control all the cabin lights individually. This can become standard with 15 LED lights, two USB ports, auxiliary sockets, so they're all on now. Courtesy lights is a lights in all the compartments. When we flick that switch, we're turning on nine LED lights throughout the, the compartments throughout it. The optional diesel hot water shower and ducted heating we would turn on and, and water pump on. Also optional with the electric opening and closing, which is this switch here. So off for the day, just turn everything off, leave the fridge on. It's a 130 litre stainless steel water tank standard. The advantage of stainless steel is obviously it's stronger and you don't get the flavour from a plastic tank. And then we've got the Red Arc battery management system which tells us how many amps we're using, time to go, how many volts, um, and it can charge off three different sources. Solar input, which is over here, 240 volt power, which is in here, and DC off your car while you're driving. Cool. It's day three of our high country adventure and we're just wrapping things up now. We've, we've just come down this morning down the other side of the Lake Cobbler Track. Now the Lake Cobbler Track certainly put us through our paces. Yesterday on the way up the hill, uh, very steep, freshly graded, so really loose terrain. A couple of recoveries required, however all in all I'm incredibly impressed with how well this uh, mountain trail Escalade camper has performed. We camped on top of a mountain literally last night with pretty much panoramic views of the high country which was a really special sight to wake up to. Coming back down this morning really again really rugged terrain, really bumpy and lots of washouts and things so took it pretty slow but again very impressed with how the camper trailer handled. It's a brand new offering for mountain trail and at just under 40k it's a really comfy good quality Australia made camper that's not going to break the budget.